Now, I know that you are anxious to begin writing your first program, and I am as eager as you are to reach that point. But before we do, there are a number of important concepts that I want to teach you. Be patient, and you will be programming in no time. There is certain functionality that is shared by all programming languages. And some of this functionality is critical to understand even before you write your first line of real code. Now, let's imagine that you're programming one day and you're trying to achieve a specific goal inside of the program that you are writing and you're stuck. So you might go to a programming forum to ask other people for help. Well, let's suppose that you are in luck because someone in the forum says, hey, I wrote a program that does this already, and here, I'll just give you my programming code, and all you have to do is put it inside your program. Now, this happens a lot. So, there are several ways you could do this. You could just copy and paste their code right into your program, but this could create issues because your program might become too long and difficult to understand. Just imagine how complicated it would be if you had to cut and paste, let's say, 10 different pieces of other people's code right into your own programming code. Also, imagine the headaches if you reused this same bit of code in other programs you are writing. What if you had to change something? Well, you would have to change it in every single file you've ever cut and pasted that code into. So, for this reason, virtually every programming language has some form of what is called an include statement. Include statements basically mean that you want to include the contents of a file that contains source code in that same programming language that you're writing in right into your program at the point that you tell it to do the include. So, in general, here's how it works. Okay, so here's how this works. Let's imagine that we're looking at a, a bit of a program that you're writing. Now, as soon as you put an include statement into your program, what you're basically saying is take the file, in this case we're just calling it some file, and effectively put the contents of that file right at this point in the program. So as soon as you put that includes statement in any of your programs, the entire contents of the file you specify effectively get placed right into your program, right where you put the include statement. Now this is important for many reasons. Remember that earlier I explained to you that libraries are a collection of useful functions that you will use in your programs in order to do more advanced things. So let's imagine that you have a program that draws a circle and let's suppose that that program relies on a library, a drawing library, that has 5,000 lines of code. Well, which is easier? To write include draw library into your program or to cut and paste the entire file. You can see then that there are many benefits to using include statements. Remember that programmers are always looking for ways to make things easier, not harder. We like to avoid complications whenever possible. Include statements were developed so that with a single line of code you can put the entire contents of a file right into your program just as if you had typed the file or copy-pasted it right there. Now before we end this lesson 
I just want to point something out. The functionality I just described differs between programming languages. Some programming languages use the include statements as a replacement for actually copy and pasting the entire contents of a file. Other languages use include statements as a way to simply make functions that are found in a file available for the program that you are writing. The main thing that you need to understand, however, is that the purpose of using an include statement in any language is to enable you to be able to use functions and commands that are available in the file you are including. So, for example, you may desire to write a program that draws a circle, and to do so, you may need to include a file that has a circle drawing function. Once you include the file, then you can use the functions and draw the circle. In this way, include statements are closely related to the libraries that we spoke about earlier. You will learn more about this as the course progresses.